Georgia's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to 59 News. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. We are down here at the Overlook on Adventures on Smokies on the Gorge, rather. Let me step out of the shot here just for a second so that you can see what we are looking at, looking straight down the gorge at the New River Gorge Bridge. Hard to believe in less than 24 hours, people are going to be jumping off of the bridge. So perfect conditions here tonight, and that's gonna be the case for the rest of the weekend. Let's start off by talking about some of the temperatures out there. It's beautiful, that's the bottom line. We're looking at temperatures right now in the upper 60s, low 70s, we all made it into the low 70s earlier today. Now that the sun is beginning to set, the temperatures are slowly falling back. Things are totally dry. I've zoomed out here on the storm tracker 59 HD dual live Doppler radar. So what we're looking at is nothing. We don't see any shower activity even close to us, which is great news, of course, for Taste of Bridge Day. That's great news for everybody getting Bridge Day set up, getting railroad days set up, and great news for our high school football players. Let's talk about our Crossroad Chevrolet game of the week. The game of the week is going to be Bluefield at Oak Hill. Around 70 degrees at kickoff. We're going to keep the clear conditions around all night long. By the time we get to the drive home, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s. So we do cool off as that sun sets. It will cool off quickly under those clear skies. We start the night off with just t-shirts. You might want to grab a light sweater once we get towards that drive home. But you can leave the umbrellas at home. Same thing for tomorrow. Take a look at our weekend planner here. We're looking at temperatures tomorrow, 75, 76 degrees. We could even see the upper 70s in the coal fields tomorrow afternoon. Light winds out of the south, but it should be light enough that it won't affect anybody planning to jump. Of course, safety is a priority, so that's good news for everybody getting ready to jump. Plenty of sunshine expected, calm, comfortable conditions, and we're expecting the same thing for Sunday. So railroad days in Hinton does go until Sunday, and it's also part of next week. We'll actually keep those nice conditions around. Looking good for Sunday, and we do have some big changes coming up at the beginning of the week. A cold front comes through. Temperatures behind that front running 15 to 20 degrees below average. So we've been about 15 degrees above average. It's going to be quite a shock to the system. It looks like we really cool those temperatures off next Wednesday. And if we step through predictor here, you can actually see that a little bit more clearly. So high pressure and control that keeps us dry again not much to talk about when that high pressure hangs around as we step through we slowly see our wind shift to be out of the south tomorrow again that's going to help to warm us up we move in a little bit more moisture so maybe a few more clouds tomorrow as of right now we see a couple of clouds way on the western horizon but that's about it keep things dry into Sunday. We start watching that front well off to our west. Well, out ahead of that front, we see the chance for some showers. That'll be some much needed rain by the time it finally gets here. Good news is not expecting any severe weather here. If that changes, of course, we will keep you up to date, but it does look like we will avoid the severe weather. Let's head on into the 10 day forecast now. Temperatures gonna be in the 70s for the next few days. And then once we get into the middle of the week, we really see that cool down. Temperature's going to drop down into the 40s possible on Wednesday. After that, we slowly rebound. By next weekend, we are looking at the chance for more showers. But let's focus on this weekend, right? It's absolutely beautiful out there. And I'm back here with Tim and Jessica, and we have nothing to complain about. Yeah. Well, you couldn't find us because I was out getting food. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all about uh, tasting all of the good stuff here. And like you said, what a better weekend to do it. The weather's gorgeous. So we have a lot more to come here from the Taste of Bridge Day. We'll have much more on that coming up here a little bit later on in the newscast. Straight ahead on 59 News.